The actual activity for rain in a bottle is pretty straightforward. We're going to try to make fresh water out of some dirty water. There are three big ideas here. The first being that the water cycle involves evaporation, changing from a liquid to a gas, condensation, the changing of a gas back to a liquid, and precipitation, the falling of that liquid out of the sky. The other idea is the energy from the sun. Radiant energy traveling as rays or waves. Convection, the movement of materials because of differences in density, and flow of materials. And conduction, which is the flow of energy through touch. The last big idea, obviously, is the changing of states of matter from solids to liquids to gases. So the first thing that we did was got the materials here, and we took some water, made it a little bit dirty. The one thing here that I didn't and I don't have anymore is my ice, so we'll just use these as a representation. The idea was to take the dirty water and somehow clean it out using just these materials. So what we sort of figured out was if we put this together in this way, put the smaller clean cup on the water, and one of the hints that I had given was, remember, the name of this lab is Rain in a Bottle, it's thinking about the rain cycle. The second clue was, don't forget that the troposphere is warmer at the bottom and colder at the top. Warmer at the bottom, where our radiant energy might be, colder at the top, where the ice would be. And then the last hint that I gave was, imagine you're uh, lost in a rubber raft in the middle of the ocean, and with all the dirty water around you, you still couldn't drink the ocean water, but you had enough to drink. So here we have the final setup under our radiant energy. So the radiant energy from the sun warmed, evaporated the water. It rose through conduction, convection, touched the colder surface. The energy moved from the radiant energy to the water, from the water into the, the air. The air eventually touched the colder ice surface condensed, turned back into a liquid, ran down and dripped as precipitation into the cup, which allows you to have clean water out of dirty water. These are used all over the world uh, as solar stills. They're used in desert areas, places where there's not a lot of fresh water. That's rain in a bottle.